morning. If I actually am able to upload this today, it's Saturday, June 27th. June 27th is the, I guess it's Byzantine because it's not on our calendar, but today is the feast of Our Lady of Perpetual of Help. And I was learning some wonderful things from a redemptress brother in Denver. And if I do get this thing uploaded, maybe I can post some stuff because an icon you read, you don't just look at. And I'm still learning about iconography. Oh boy, this guy's going real slow. I wanted to talk a little bit about Our Lady, but also about some consolations that I've been given about the Rosary. Unless I'm going to Mass and I know that they're going to do a rosary at Mass, I usually will do a rosary every time I get in the car and I know I'm going to be in the car for at least 20 minutes. It is extremely important, number one, that we remember to pray the rosary daily. And if you have time, a contemplative rosary should include three times around. Joyful, sorrowful, glorious. If you don't have time for that, you can at least do the rosary of the day. But I wanted to talk a little bit about the actual prayers you know, like the Fatima prayers that go along with the rosary, but also the prayers that you say at the end. Because after having been consecrated as long as I have been and receiving some of these consolations, I, I, I just wanted to say that if you're looking for something in your life, if you're looking for certain virtues, the fruits of each of the mysteries in the decades of the rosary, the fruits are promises that God is giving to you through Mary. And obviously, if you think about fruit like it's planted from a seed, you know, it grows from a seed that's planted. The fruit is, if I continue to pray without ceasing, like I'm thinking right now of the crucifixion is the fifth sorrowful mystery. The fruit of that mystery is perseverance. So being able to persevere and say a rosary every day, I'm committed to say a rosary every day regardless. Obviously, you know, there's been some amazing miraculous stories surrounded it. I think Father Don mentioned the one about the lady with Ted Bundy. And even he said... You know, he went into her dorm to kill her, and he was thrown backwards because she had made a promise to say the rosary every night, and she fell asleep with the rosary in her hand. And, you know, he did not become one of her victims because of that. There's so many promises associated with the mysteries, so many promises associated with the rosary itself. But persevering in prayer... Now, I just was doing just an extra decade because I know I'm going to do a whole rosary today for the Annunciation. I think that just about every man that I know can admit at some point in their life, if not presently, we struggle with the vice of pride. And the opposite vice of pride is the virtue of humility. Humility is the fruit of the first joyful mystery, which is the Annunciation of the Angel Gabriel, where he actually says, Hail Mary, full of grace. The Angel Gabriel is explaining why Mary... She doesn't understand it. It says right there. She doesn't... She did not fully understand that... that salutation but basically the angel explains you have found great favor but you are full of grace which means 
all of us have all of us have grace, but to be full of grace means she is immaculate. And because she has found favor, because she was conceived immaculately, she will bear the son. And she accepts with great humility. And because she accepts with great humility, and we ask for her intercession, pray for us sinners. I, I, there's a cute little girl on an old rosary, international rosary, says, pray for me, a sinner. The Jesus prayer also says, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. When we beat our breast and we say, I, you know, the sins, take away the sins of the world. I confess, I have sinned. We are sinners. We are asking for it. someone give us, you know, recognize our own sinfulness, which is humility. And, you know, the Magnificat is a great example. Her soul magnifies the Lord. Her soul, you know, because he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call her blessed, and we do. All generations have called Mary blessed. She is the new Eve. And on this feast of the Lady of Our Lady of Perpetual Help, there's a lot of beautiful prayers that we can we can pray, and, and we are. We're asking for her help. And if you look at the icon image, and every image of Mary holding the infant Jesus, she is pointing to her son. She is looking at us, pointing to her son. So, I want to just conclude with, you know, asking that you pray at least one decade of the rosary. Find the, find the one. Use the prayers of Fatima. There's pray the rosary cards. You can find them at most adoration chapels and a lot of churches. Look for the fruits. And when you're asking God, God, please give me this virtue. Part of that virtue you can get by praying at least one decade of the rosary. Father Don also says, if you don't have time for the rosary, we've got the condensed version in the chaplet. But in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Mary, seat of wisdom, pray for us. Mary, our Lady of perpetual help, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pray more novenas, pray more rosaries, and ask for help.